Cytic pain tends to come from four main areas. The glutes and piriformis, the low back joints, the discs, and adhesions around the cytic nerve. So these four exercises cover all those four possibilities to give you quick cytic relief. This first exercise is a beauty because it does a few things at once. It starts off with a piriformis and glute stretch and then moves into a release for your lumbar, spine and pelvis. Lying on your back, pull the knee and ankle of the leg that has pain in it towards your chest to stretch the piriformis muscle that can tighten up around the sciatic nerve and hold that stretch for about five seconds. Then move your leg towards the opposite side more to stretch the outer glutes, which can refer pain down the leg too, and hold this position for five seconds. Then finish by extending your leg out to the side, putting your hand on it to weigh it down and keeping your opposite shoulder down. This will stretch the glutes right out on the side of the pelvis, but it also opens up your lumbar and sacroiliac joints, and they may even crack or release. Then repeat these three positions for five seconds each position and do it five times. This next exercise is a classic, but I recommend you check out the variations I'm going to show you too. The McKenzie position is good for reducing posterior disc bulges, but it can help with releasing spinal joints as well. Lying face down on a bed, right near the side, lift your body weight up onto your elbows and see how that feels. If that feels good, just relax and breathe out and hold for 10 seconds. If that feels a bit uncomfortable, or especially if it increases the pain down your leg, try bending the side that has the sciatica up off the side of the bed as you do it and see how that goes. Now if both of those positions hurt, your low back might be too inflamed for this exercise, so just move on to the next exercise. And you can put an ice pack on that low back to decrease the inflammation. But if it feels good, just relax, breathe out, and hold for 10 seconds, then lay back down. After a moment, get back up again, do another 10 seconds, and do that five times. You can try another variation too, where you tilt your body towards the side of sciatica, and then lift. Sometimes the disc or vertebra move more towards the side and cause sciatica, so this exercise addresses those cases. So standing 30 centimeters from a wall with your painful leg on the outside, bend your arm to 90 degrees and then lean your shoulder and elbow up against the wall. And then lean your rib cage up against your arm. Relax your torso and then gently press your hip with your opposite hand towards the wall. Repeat this 10 times slowly, but only go as far as feels comfortable. Don't do this on the other side, so always make sure the painful leg is on the outside, and make sure that your elbow stays against your ribs, not pushed away from them or in front of your ribs. This last exercise addresses a completely different cause of cytic pain. Sometimes adhesions will develop between the cytic nerve and the structures that it passes through, so this nerve flossing exercise helps to break up those nerve irritating adhesions. Lying on your back, pull the leg with sciatica towards your chest with knee bent and hold just below the knee with your hands. Then extend the knee slightly until you can feel a very slight sensation of pulling down the back of your leg and then pull your toes towards your body. And then go back the other way. Now repeat this 10 times slowly, but only just up until the point where you can feel a slight stretching sensation. If it stretches too much, back off or don't do it at all. And just do this once a day only. If you get a bit of pain down the back or the side of your leg, even if it includes a bit of numbness or pins and needles occasionally, these exercises can work quite well for you. If it's a bit more chronic, you might need to do them every day for a couple of weeks. But if it's more than a couple of weeks, I would go and see a professional to get it assessed. However, if you have constant numbness or pins and needles in your legs, or muscle weakness, or even wasting, or any changes in your bladder or bowel functions, you really need to go and see a doctor straight away. Anyway, I hope that helps. Let me know how you go in the comment section below. Okay, cheers.